Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on this week's Master Nightfall. It is Warden of Nothing. I'm doing it on Voidwalker, top tree. Uh, Warlock, uh, as you can see, I'm using 7th Seraph Officer Revolver. I'm using the Vouchsafe Scout Rifle, and I'm also using Royal Entry. As you can see, all the perks and mods are displayed on the screen. I'm going with uh, Swartz, 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 Ch Swartz Child Condenser, if I can even say it, and that's what I'll be using to stop the Unstoppables, uh, Anti-Barrier Scout, and Hand Cannon for the Overload. Uh, I've got Radiant Light on because that gives me a plus 20 uh, strength. It means I'll get my melee back faster. Uh, I went for a uh, charge for light where I'm basically creating fonts of light with my grenade. Every time I pick up a font, I'm going to get uh, two charges of light and I've got Ardent Ordnance on as well. Uh, the, the real stats you've got to worry about here are the ones you've got to pay attention. You want to have a reasonably high intellect, really high... Uh, melee, good recovery and good results. You're not really interested in mobility. Uh, I've been running this quite a bit and as you can see, this is the best one I got. It's kind of the only one you're ever going to need. Rapid hit explosive payload with a handling masterwork. I got that doing when I was working this run out. So, uh, I've got Sundering, Sundering, I can't remember what that's called. Sundering, it's not Sundering Gaze. Sundering Blast. So when I stop an, when I stop a champion or break a champion's barrier, whatever, cause a big explosion, it takes about 10% of the health off them. So a nice little added bonus. So, yeah, I, I didn't want to do the cheese. It's okay for a Grandmaster, but I don't think it's needed for a Master. And it still was about a 26-minute run, which is not bad considering. Uh, I've basically used the, the Seventh Seraph officer revolver i've got a uh, global reach on as well for in case i can make some war main cells and it's just as you'll see here it's like every fourth or fifth kill you'll get a war main cell so i knew i was going to get one here i always get one and i just went to the other side put out the scout rifle and just used it just to clear it will clear all the ads but sometimes you'll you'll have a goblin up with the champion but it will clear everything but the champion now, let's talk about how you actually take these champions down, because still I feel like a lot of people don't know this. So I'm going to double down on the damage, we'll do the grenade, I'm going to hit him with the, the rocket. The rocket's got last an impression on, so it sticks. And then, while it sticks to him, I'm going to stop him. Now, you see there, I'm kind of trying to feather my shots, you can see there that thunder and blast. Try to feather my shots. Because while his tendrils on his back are shining, you need to hit him with your overload weapon to keep him from teleporting and keep him from regenerating. So I basically just stretched out my shots. So I didn't, if, sometimes if you reload, you, you'll see actually nearer the end of this video, if you reload, he gets a chance to, to start rezzing and it, one overload can last an eternity. You kind of have to make sure... You do not let him get up. There's a, there's a small period of time where if you don't keep hitting him with an overload, he will regenerate regardless of how many times you hit him afterwards. So we're just making my way towards the next champion. The the thing that makes Warden of Nothing kind of special, and uh, regardless of what anybody else says, this is it can be quite irritating that there's all three champions. Now, it's not impossible nowhere near it as you can see within a 26 minute run it does go into build craft a bit more you you have to really think about your loadout a bit more it's it's a nice little challenge but uh yeah I, i'm i don't know i'm i'm still even after all this time i'm still undecided about the champion scenario and the false the false uh power scaling that that, that this does so, as you can see there, I, I doubled down, and I'll be doing that quite a bit. I'll be doubling down damage with the grenade. I've got Controverse holds on to try and get the grenade back. There are mods in the artifact that could help do that, but I feel like they take the place of stuff that I'm going to need. So, what I do with, with the Unstoppable, unstop you've seen that there. I wait till my grenade's ready. I push, I throw my grenade where I'm going to melee him. 
So straight away he's taking damage from the grenade. The melee obviously will stop him, so he takes Sunder and Blast, and I stick him with a rocket. The other good thing that I don't hear people talk about too much with uh, Last and Impression is it actually allows you to get close to the enemy, stick them with a rocket, and get away again before it blows up. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Uh, I, you really got to be careful when you're timing, timing it with the barriers because sometimes you can uh, you can stick them and they put the barrier up and the rocket doesn't actually do any damage to them. So you've got to be careful when you're trying to take the barrier shield down. Now somebody's going to say it, so I'll, I'll get out of the way. Now, the reason I'm using officer, the officer's revolver is war mine cells. But explosive, pay, explosive payload hand cannon works beautifully against overloads. The reason I'm using the vouch safe is because there's a lot of void in here. If you have an explosive round bottom dollar, then I would suggest switching the switching the, the the energy and primary weapons. I don't have a bottom dollar with explosive rounds, so the vouchsafe had to work. It was pretty bouncy. I don't have a really stable one. I had to put counterbalance stock on it just to, to make sure that I could consistently hit crits or even just hit adds maybe from further away than that weapon really wanted to do it from. So I would suggest uh, bottom dollar with explosive rounds and night watch, you know, could say hung jury but that's the whole point of doing this is to get a hung jury so again charge the grenade throw it melee stop some in the grenade and you can see there as long as he's inside his last health bar it's all over uh we've got a barrier up top i was just looking to see if i could actually push that war mine cell up but obviously you can't so i'm gonna do a bit of ad clearing with the grenade take out the barrier with the scout rifle now, like most weapons, especially in PV activities, even though this weapon's bouncing, if you get used to its uh, its movement, then it's not too bad. So what I try to do with these is I try, you see there, it worked perfectly. What I try to do is, especially, especially on the Cabal barriers, is I try and stick them with the rocket and then force them to put the barrier up. So I can break it so they take the Sunder and Blast, then they take the rocket straight away. It's just as, I think it's just, I don't know, it's just faster. So in this section here, you've got a lot of things kind of going on, but really for champions, you've got two barriers, and that is it. Uh, everything's kind of step by step until you get to the mines. And even then, that's step by step. There's no need for any heroics or theatrics. Very simple to do. Uh... I'm trying to create another war mine cell just just because I'm I'm real I'm bad like that because I've got the hand cannon I'm actually actively trying to make war mine cells. There we go, we've got one there. And clear out some of the ads. Now I've got I've got quite a lot of heavy here and you will see me burn the heavy as well. If you don't have heavy, or if you don't get tons of heavy like this, then don't don't just willy nilly go go throwing it about. But if you've got a lot of heavy, now I couldn't actually see through the through the shots, and I actually hit shield. I couldn't see if if he turned. There we go. So I'm gonna fill up again, and then I'm gonna take this barrier on the right. Now the barriers will appear once you push up to where I just did. So when you take this barrier, make sure the barrier on the left can't hit you, and you're kind of kind of hit glitching. Making yourself a small target. So because I've got tons of heavy, I decided we'll just finish him off with another rocket. So I'm gonna put up I'm gonna pre-throw a grenade. Now we get the explosion, now we break the shield. And again, I've got tons of heavy. So I'm just gonna hopefully clear them up like that. Now I want to create a one main cell. So I'm just going to put a rift down. Now, that I, as I've said already in the video, there are mods that work better with war main cells, but I feel, or I felt, for this to work, I needed everything that I was using. So I couldn't really spare... I couldn't really spare the slots, if I'm being honest. So the war main cell got dragged by the... Dragged by the... 
train. So this was unfortunately not what I was looking for. I was hoping that the Minotaur would have would have uh I actually done this like twice. Hit that barricade. So we'll just stick that. And hopefully it, it deals we, we got the Minotaur, which is what we're looking for. I think I stick that barricade again. Because the problem with tracking is if it moves behind the barricade then the tracking will push it and it, you know it's it's as the crow flies it's it won't dodge stuff so i've got six rockets again so this time we're not taking any chances sticking from up here now you're gonna get a giant minotaur here very simple to take out what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stay here when the music kind of changes you know you're getting a new objective so what we're gonna do is nova stick as soon as the nova hits so let the Nova hit, and then stick. It means if he teleports, he's taking that rocket with him. But he didn't teleport, he just took the rocket. So that's this section done. We're going to move up to the next section. Uh, and this is where you've got a couple of, couple of ba uh, unstoppables. So you kind of have to be careful moving forward. I'm just checking it to make sure there's no additional heavy ammo. I apologize for my voice. I've been really unwell this past week. Still trying to get the, the content out to you guys. And and, and this this nightfall it's not it's not it's not too bad once you understand what you can and can't do within it. So in this section, your biggest worries are gonna be, and they're not really gonna be worries, but your biggest adversaries are gonna be two unstoppables. So don't push up too far or you will activate both of them. And you don't want to do that. Uh, obviously, as you can see, again, I'm trying to get a warm main cell. It just helps uh, with ad clearance. Now, you are quite far back here, so just global reach won't actually do it a ton of damage, uh, as you'll see here. But it will actually touch some of these ads at the back. You see there? Now, there's an oh, there's an unstoppable. Just just in front of those ads that I was shooting, you can just see them there. Now, I've activated them. So, I'm just going to keep this charged. We're going to put this grenade down. Now, you can see I almost missed that. Because he got the, he got the, the, the push on me. So, I'm backing away because I'm red. But I'm just going to use this cover here. Get a shot on him before I duck behind it. And we're all good. Another thing about the, the champions is if you're holding your 7th Seraph hand cannon when you finish a champion, regardless of what you finish that champion with, now as you can see that nearly always, with me it's nearly always unstoppables get finished or, 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 or burn out or something, finish them off with a hand cannon, but if you... If you manage to get the kill with your rocket launcher, if the rocket finishes him and you're holding the the revolver, you'll produce a one main cell. Because it will class it will class the the weapon you were holding. You'll see here. One main cell. And we've managed to take out the scions and the the elite that was hiding just round to the to the left of here so that's kind of really all there is here a couple of a couple of red bar ads nothing major so i am going to put uh, a link in the description uh, but if you guys want to see me work this stuff out live uh, you can always come by and check out the stream i stream on youtube nearly every night at least at least four or five times a week uh we're still working out a proper schedule but it's it's, it's mostly every night i take Maybe one or two nights off a week. I have been this week because I've been I've been unwell. But come by and say hi and you know, you might see some stuff you like, you might not. Uh what's the harm in trying? Try something new. So as I say I stream on YouTube, so we are gonna be making the move back to Twitch where I, I, I was on Twitch for a while. But uh yep, look forward to seeing you guys there. But enough of that. This is the meat of this this nightfall. Because there's there's a few things you need to do here. One, you're gonna start off with 
five champions here. You're going to have three barriers. You're going to have one overload and one unstoppable. So what we're going to do is thin the herd. Now, you have to remember that there's diff different races of these champions here. So you don't want to take all the Vex. You want to give the Cabal something to fight to take them all, their mind off you. So I took a Vex, now I'm going to take a Cabal. Uh, and then once I've done that, I'll take another Vex. And that should leave the Unstoppable and the Overload. That l the, Those two just love to fight. Uh, and I think here you'll get to see what happens if you don't time your your hand cannon shots properly on a on an overload because I think he regenerated once on me how dare he regenerate on me I know I can hear you saying that but he did so there we go now what I'm gonna do is take that sniper up there that's the that's the three barriers the barriers are mostly your biggest issue here because they they, they don't really get sidelined so you can see there I've got four shots left. I've hit the four shots. Now they've disappeared out of my view. Nearly got that overload. Maybe it's not this. Yep, there he is. Because I never kept hitting him when he was in that regeneration period, he got the regen. You have to. If you're going to throw a grenade, throw the grenade before you've stunned him. Stun him in the grenade. It just adds to damage. So now, as you can see, I've got him stopped. And what I'm going to try and do is just feather the shots. Make sure I've still got one in the mag. Didn't I didn't get it, but we got the stop anyway. I'll reload and make sure I can go back after him. And there we go. Now it's just the unstoppable. So what you want to make sure you've got, you want to make sure you've got your grenade for this part. So don't use your grenade. Keep your grenade. Make sure that you've got rockets. Uh, I will stop them. I'm just going to put a rocket on them. We want them gone. I don't want to have to mess about. So I picked up heavy, which is good. So, so now you've got these mines you've got to disarm. You've got You've got about a minute to get on the first mine. Don't just get straight on it. Use that time to clear as many ads as you can, right? Because the it doesn't matter if you get on now or you get on at five seconds. The timer stops when you get on. So you can see, I I use my I I actually use the one mine to kill the first three. Same thing again. That's why that's why I wanted to keep my grenade. So that I could just take grenade melee, grenade them, and then stop them, and then rock it, and then keep hitting them. So that's the two champions. I supered the first set with the barrier. I supered that set. Uh, I used the war main cell to take out the three goblins just to our left. I supered the goblins just in front of us to the left that had the barrier with them. Made sure I cleared them. And then the time was at 13. I felt like I'd done enough work. I could have, I could have maybe have thrown another grenade over it, over, over the other mine. So we took out a heap of ads, and then, and now we're coming to to B. Now, luckily, my first grenade did hit, so I'm coming over here. I just grab that heavy. Now I'm going to put a rift down. Now, there is an overload here somewhere. But if you don't do any damage to the overload, if you personally don't shoot the overload, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. You know, you'll still get the platinum. I've done this a heap of times. This run that I'm doing now is the only run I've done, and, and, and it was the one I recorded, where I didn't get a hung jury. I have had absolutely heaps of these weapons over the last 10 hours. So, I'm using this rock. You see that I got hit. But the ads will move away. They won't push you and try and melee. Stay behind this rock. You're absolutely fine. He will teleport away. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try and be, pro you know, proactive here. So, it's going to be a heap of ads come out this door. We're just going to 
hit them with a grenade. Then we're going to go up here. We're going to grab the Scorch Cannon. Because we want to keep all our rockets. And we're going to use our Scorch Cannon and our grenades to damage this Cabal boss. So let's just recap over this area one more time. When you come in, you're going to have five champions. You take them out from where I was taking them out, the way I was taking them out. Then when this area starts proper, you're going to clear the three goblins on the left. And then... And that's that's from from as we're looking up at the plate, the door just just behind where the boss is, almost just to the right, uh, at the back. Three goblins come out there. You're going to take them, and then you're going to super the set over to the right. The door that we threw the grenade to to be proactive. That door. We're going to super that door. That will kill all the ads, and it will do massive damage to the champion. You're going to kill that champion. Then there's going to be an unstoppable who will probably push up that corridor. You make sure you've got your melee because we, do, we there was an unstoppable here when we got here so once you've got your melee you're going to grenade throw a grenade at, at, at his feet where you're going to melee him melee him back away hit him with a rocket and then switch to your hand cannon keep shooting him so that basically the, the rocket will kill him if not he's finishable and then obviously the boss is going to come out and you can see there I put the grenade to be proactive, took out those ads, grabbed the Scorch Cannon, and moved all the way to the back, and just kept hitting them. Now, if you hit them with the Scorch Cannon, keep your finger on the trigger, it will charge those shots, and each charge is a different audio. It gets higher and higher, and I think you can charge like three or four times. Just charge it till the fourth time, and then explode it. And when you can, hit them with a grenade. The grenade does a lot of damage to them. And here we are. That gets us to the boss. And if, like me, you're doing this solo, this next part kind of won't matter. But if you're in with a fire team, don't all go down here at the same time because somebody will die. So get one person to activate the chest and go down. And once they reach the bottom, that little aura, the shield at the top will disappear and the other two can come down. And here we are. This is the boss part. Now... The way I've done the boss part here is different to the way I've done it in any other video. I wanted to find something to combat this uh, cheese kind of mentality. Uh, and there is actually a really easy way to do this without having to go out of the map. I understand if it's a GM because that's rough. But uh, I wanted to find just a place where you can have maximum cover with field of vision and all this stuff. So... Hopefully, this little place that I found, or this little strategy I found, will help solos and fire teams. So when you get here, you're going to have a similar scenario. You're going to have four champions. You're going to have a Vex Barrier, a Vex Overload, a Cabal Unstoppable, and a Cabal Barrier. A Cabal are on the right, Vex are on the left. So we're doing the same thing that we've done before, just from up here, because it's It's dangerous going down there with all four because the minute you land down there you're going to become their focal point so as you can see i took out the overload now i don't normally like taking the both the vex right and that was a great great timing for that bubble to come up i don't like normally taking both the vex but in this case when you take both the vex the reason i don't like taking both the vex is then the champions that are there are now focused on us. We're the enemy race. Uh, once you take down the Vex, if that's the way it works, the Cabal will move into a favourable position for you to take them out. So take the barrier. And just waiting for him. Trying to get this overload to this unstoppable to move because he's blocking the barrier. There we go. Now the barrier will shoot at you. But if you keep him like I'm, like I'm doing now, as soon as he gets into that kind of combat position, you see there he wanted to fire at me, but he realised he was in a he was in a lot of trouble. So rather than fire at me, he put his shield up. So what I'm going to do now, all we've got is the unstoppable. We have to stop him with a melee, so we leave him till last. Now I'm coming around just to get some ammunition. And what I'm going to do is we just want to see his health. Right, he he's ready. We're going to take him to the place we're going to be doing more damage from. And we'll stop him over there so we're already in position. So 
normally I would be behind this pillar here. And you'll see, that is not where we're going to go. So, first off the bat, what you're going to do is you're going to charge, you're going to charge a grenade, you're going to hit him with a grenade, fire a rocket, then a super, and then you're going to go over here. Jump up here, behind this kind of nut, I don't know, nut and bolt. I'm going to put another rocket on the boss, you see, you'll see his health in a second when I, when I put my next rocket on him. And then, you are not, this isn't a cheese spot because you can get hit here. See his health? So, I put my rift down, and I'm going to charge a grenade, put it in between the ads, and that will clear them out. What we're looking for now, is to get our super back. You basically engage this boss properly twice. So, we'll have a look at his health in a second. He's about half health, maybe just under that. I'm just going to get this charge with light. Because now, we're getting our second wave of Vex. You will get some Cabal here as well. Nothing too major, just just some uh, just some red bar Cabal. So I'm just going to put that over there. Uh, unfortunately, never really hit anything. There is a Minotaur. You have to be careful with this Minotaur. Right? Now eventually, what's going to happen is, don't panic. As I said, this is not a cheese spot. The boss is going to come hunting you. See how he's he's trying to shoot you? So, just want to make sure there's no other ads. I've got a rift should I need it. I'm looking to see where this minotaur is. So, there's the minotaur. I'll put my rift down now. I'll switch to my void scout. There he is. And then all we're going to do after this is we're going to wait for a super. So what I'm going to do is just to show you how how easy this kind of is. I'll just take this last Vex out. We are just going to juke this boss around this, this pillar. He's just going to... He's, he's not in his last health bar. That's when you get the big, the big heavy dudes. So when you get really close to that last health bar... He brings in another wave of ads. We've kept him away from that. Right? So he's got a little bit, maybe a third of his middle health bar left. Uh, so what the plan is, no, no, that's why I said at the start of the video, to make sure you've got a relative bit of intellect. So we've put our super on him, and we've fired a rocket. We're going to need two more to finish him. Right? And that is it. No need for a cheese. Very simple. Boss is dead. Very simple. Right? So, remember, you don't want to get him... You want to get him about... So that he's got about a third of his middle health bar. You get him to that, and you can wait till you get your super. Alright? And that's the run. I hope this helps you guys farm for the hung jury. It's an awesome weapon, especially the roll that I got. I hope you guys get your rolls. Uh, there will be probably an expunge video coming this week, but I'll be streaming all week. I hope to see some of you guys there. And until the next video, take it easy, and I will see you then.